Good morning, guys. It is quite early. Um, let me shut the door. It's um, quite early, but I'm trying to get an early start because I got somewhat of a busy day today. And um, I'm trying to get work work done before I do the things that I have to do outside of the house. So, um, excuse me if you hear my dog, he follows me everywhere. Got my coffee, this is a big cup. Um, I got it one Mother's Day full of chocolates and hot chocolate and all that, but believe me, it's not filled to the top. My coffee only comes to about right there. But anyway, um, Um, what I'm going to do is try to put on a little bit of makeup, nothing fancy at all, just, um, just a little bit to be, be presentable and do my hair. And then I'm going to, um, because I got to get a PSA out, basically, I have to retract something I said in a previous video. So no, no fault of mine, it was because the company didn't do what they were supposed to do, but whatever, that's neither here nor there. So I wanna get that out real quick before my actual video that I was gonna upload today goes out. Um, just because, just so it's right behind that other video and people can see it right away and don't have to go searching for it. So I wanna get that done. I want to uh, return some emails um, answer some comments and things like that and then I do want to um, film one video before I leave the house today I'm gonna try to get that done before I leave the house today as well uh, and then yeah on this agenda I'm supposed to meet have lunch with a friend and it's gloomy today I thought it was gonna be sunny because it was so hot and so sunny yesterday actually it is raining it just I see sprinkles now so uh, I don't think it's supposed to rain at the time that we're supposed to get together, but it's not supposed to be sunny. So it's going to be overcast most of the day. That's why I'm not trying to do a whole lot. Um, but I'm supposed to have lunch with her. Then I think I may try to drop something at a UPS to ship back. Something I need to return to Amazon. And, um, and... I don't know. We were supposed to go look at cars again today. I don't know if we'll do that or not because um, depending on if it if it keeps raining, if it stops raining or whatever. So I do know that I need to go out and have lunch with her because she has not canceled on me yet. So um, I need to do that and I need to get to the UPS store outside of the house and then possibly pick up a few little items that I need for dinner tonight. But other than that, uh, I just want to get the two videos done today and get some emails and things like that situated. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Get in my way now, don't be shy. We'll be here dancing day and night. Get in my groove now, don't be shy. Cause I got this list of my favorite things. You could be the part where it all begins. You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it. Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of it You could be Don't love, they're like everything that has a cherry on top Get on my 
I just put on a little bit of makeup. Not a lot at all. Didn't put anything on my lips yet because I'm still drinking my coffee and my hair is smushed. Um, and I didn't take this off in the shower like I normally do because I knew I was going to put on makeup. So anyway, I am going to try to stretch my hair without heat today. Got this idea from Takira Thompson on YouTube where she kind of just twist her hair and pin it up. Another person that does this sometimes, I think she got it from Takira too, is a love for me. If you ever watch her videos, you'll see her do this sometimes to stretch her hair. So yeah, that's what I'm going to try to do to just stretch it a little bit. Um, You don't need to be stretched a lot, but a little bit. So, didn't look the cutest, but let's stretch it this way. Yeah, didn't look the cutest, but gets it done without putting the heat on it. I'll put on my earrings when I get downstairs. But now I'm just going to go over to my desk and do some emails and stuff like that. Carry my phone with me. Guys, this is just a little phone stand that I keep, you know, so I can be hands free if I need to. Got this off Amazon. I'll link it in the description box. But I'm going to move over to my desk so I can start um, taking care of some emails. Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy You could be one of the things I love Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door Rays, um, back. I wanted to get ready to leave and go finish looking for me a car. We're gonna get this car together one way or the other, but before I did that, I wanted to get on and um, show you my new candles. So, of course, fall's coming up, and so I wanted to uh, pick up some fall candles for the house. And I'm pretty much done. Um, my candle holder is downstairs because I was taking a candle down there to try to get it out of the thing and just took the whole holder because it was burning and it was hot. So, but I believe that this is the only candle I have left from my last candle haul. So, let me show y'all what I got for fall. Okay. So they had a sale again, and then I had a discount as well. But um, if you bought so many, you get a, um, I think if you bought $50, you get a free candle. And then of course I had a discount on top of that. So yeah, okay. So one of the first ones I picked up was the Cozy Cashmere. This is smooth lavender, warm vanilla, and pink jasmine. And it looks like this. Real pretty. Mm. It smells pretty good. It smells different than I thought it was going to smell, but it smells good. I don't know that I necessarily get fall from it. But hey, we'll see. So, got that. 
The next one that I got, ooh, I can smell it coming out of the box, is White Caramel Cold Brew. So if you think of Starbucks and you think of going and getting you a coffee with white caramel in it, but only this is cold brew, that's what it reminds me of. It smells like a little bit like a white chocolate and a caramel mix. So, yeah, it's, it's a sweet smell. It's a, it's a little sweet. So that's that one. I'm going to set it over there. The next one I got looks like this, and it has, you know what? I was going to say, I think I messed up my order, and I think that they did because this one, first of all, this does not look like one of the outsides that I purchased, but it says white pumpkin, and I'm not a pumpkin person. So, I can't remember if this was the free one or not. They may have been out of the other. I know it wasn't because I wouldn't know. They may have been out of the other free one. So, they just gave me one. But it's white pumpkin. Okay. So, it's gingered white pumpkin, caramel glaze, warm spices, and essential oils. So, It's not bad. I, def I smell some cinnamon in it. So it makes you think of a little bit of cinnamon, like cool, you know, Christmassy or cool. But I don't know. Not my favorite. Kind of like a pumpkin pie, maybe. Pumpkin pie scent. So. Not happy about that. I'm going to have to go and check my order. Okay. So now, open up the next one. Now this is flannel, and it looks like this. And um, a lot of people have talked about this one. I've heard and said that they liked it, so I thought I'd give it a try. And they said that they said it kind of smells like their man when he comes home from work, his cologne, a man in his cologne in a flannel shirt. And it does have a very manly not ma masculine type cologne scent to it. So we'll see how that burns. Maybe my husband will like that. We'll see. Won't be so sweet smelling. We'll see. And last but not least is Marshmallow Fireside. And I've heard a lot of people talk about this one as well. Um, and this is Toasted Marshmallow Smoldering, smoldering Woods. Roasted vanilla, crystallized amber, and essential oils. Hmm. And it does smell like you're roasting marshmallows. Smell a little black like roasted marshmallows. So what I am getting is sweet. Somewhat sweet with a little bit of cinnamon. Sweet. So I got three sweets. And this one is somewhat sweet too, but not as sweet. This is more, um, it has a little bit of the vanilla's making it smell kind of sweet, but it also has the lavender in it that kind of gives it a floral note so i don't know and then i got a manly note okay so we'll we'll see we'll see we'll see let me see if i can find my order on here to see what i was supposed to get hmm the free gift was white pumpkin so I thought it was something else, but I guess it was that. And I didn't pay a lot of attention. Or I figured if I'm going to get it, I might as well get it when it's free. I'm not going to pay for it. So, um, so yeah, anyway. 
So those are it. So I got five. That's it for that. Let me know, guys, if you have tried any of these and what you think about them. The marshmallow fire side. White pumpkin. Cozy cashmere. I love this pink. Cozy cashmere. I was hoping that I would really like that one. Hopefully when it burns, I really like it. White caramel cold brew. And last but not least, the flannel. Let me know if you have any of these, if you like them, um, what you burn in the fall for the fall scents. If you, do you kind of tend to go toward those foodsy scents like the cinnamon, the um, pumpkin, the, do you kind of go towards those old foodsy scents like that? You know, apple, apple crisp and stuff like that. Or do you lean more toward fall leaves? Um, you know, the smell of a fire, you know, crackling and stuff like that. Let me know. I think I would prefer the more earthy nature type smells over the foodie gourmand smells. But hey, that's just me. Let me know. Put your favorite uh, fall candle scent down in the comment section so I will know and I'll be able to check it out at a later date. And um, guys... Let me say this. Got on my purple rain t-shirt. Loving it. Just got on some jeans. I believe I got this from Boohoo. If I can find it, I'll link it. Hair is a third day wash and go using the Shea Moisture Black Jamaican Castor Oil uh, Leave-In and this Twin Olive Maximum Hold Gel. Um, just trying to use up my stash. So... That's what this is. Um, I did not do a actual video on this hairstyle, but I did do a review on the Jamaican Black Castor Oil line by Shea Moisture. It is on my Instagram. So if you are not over on Instagram, if you're not following me there, you need to follow me there because sometimes I will do post of my hair and what I used in my hair and I don't necessarily do a video on it. So just want to let you know that you may want to go follow me over on Instagram. I'm not really real, real, real consistent like some people are over there. But I'm trying. I'm trying. So this is my big bubble cup. I think I picked this up from Walmart. You're talking about keeping stuff cold. I can put ice in here. You hear that ice? I put ice in here, set this on my bedside table with some water. The next day I wake up, it's still ice cold water in here. That's how good this cup is. And um, yeah, I got it from Walmart. Uh, and then hot stuff, it stays hot as well. But yeah, I like it. Nice little travel cup and it holds a lot. So there you go. All right, guys, I'm going to go get my husband so we can go search for this car. And I... <sighs> All right, guys, sorry that I did not come back on yesterday after we did our car shopping. Um, but hey, got distracted. So I am coming on today. Today is gloomy. It's Saturday, but my, my son has a, um, my son has a football game this evening. Normally they do it on Friday evenings, but some kind of conflict happened or whatever. So they moved it to tonight and it happens to be raining tonight, which I'm mad about because I have a twist out today and it seems like every time I do a twist out, it rains. I don't know if you guys have ever heard me say that in my previous videos where I've had twist out it seems like every time I try to do a twist out it rains so guys this twist out is already very soft and somewhat frizzy so it is definitely not going to last in the weather that we are having today but hey that's part of it um for this twist out I do want to let you know that I was not able to film it I actually started filming it then there was an emergency we had to leave real quick so um i had to just hurry up and twist up my hair and in doing that i mixed up some products so what i was trying to do was do a side-by-side -side comparison between the mesh twisting cream and the eden body works defining um cream i'll put the um i don't have them up here they're in my bathroom so i'll put the pictures right here but um I started on this side with the Eaton Body Works and then um, got distracted <clears throat> and left the back, came back and I'm like, okay, 
which jar was I in, couldn't remember. It was a whole fiasco. So what I do know is that um, I believe this back part is Eaton's. I know that all of this is Mish. Um, so anyway, this is what it looks like. So what I can tell you a little bit is that the Eaton Body Works to me felt like it gave somewhat of a, um, not hard at all because it's very soft, but somewhat of a um, more of a cast, more of a harder hold, uh, a little bit more defined where Mish was defined as well and it's softer and it's fluffier. Um, feels a, they both feel very soft, very fluffy, very moisturized. This one just seems a little bit frizzier for some reason. But anyway, that's what this is. So it's not filmed. I may try to film it again. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comment section below. All of that out of the way. Um, okay, so I wanted to share with you some stuff that I got in. Guys, uh, I think I told you in a video that I had went and got eyes checked new exam new exam not sure if i did or not but anyway i um ordered some glasses from warby parker good things await you not sure if you've ever ordered from warby pa warby parker or not but you you can pick five pairs of glasses have them send them to you to try on for five days to see how they look on your face to see if you want to order them or not so anyway got them in today so i'm just going to try them on real quick and you guys can help me pick which one looks the best. And of course, guys, I always go toward the old kind of rectangular shape that just to me fits my face the best. But anyway, um, we are gonna go, we are gonna see. Y'all gonna help me out. So this is called the Two-Tone Red Cryette or something like that. So we're gonna put these on. You tell me what you think. These look like my, my reading glasses. My reading glasses are just a little bit smaller in size, but they look very similar to my reading glasses. But anyway, so I got these. Tell me what you think. Excuse the glare. And remember my eyes look a little bit bigger in these because these um, lenses are, you know, just regular little plastic lenses. But let me know what you think about these. So again, that is the two-tone red. The next pair is called the Rye Tortoise. So again, um, somewhat similar shape. These come down a little bit more. Uh, they're thicker. The other ones were more rectangle, but these are tortoise. So what y'all think about these? Sorry, I keep messing with my hair. I don't know how I want my hair to, to lay, but... These are tortoise. We will see. Told you they're very similar. I'm just very simple. The next pair, oh, this is the Weathers Rye Tortoise. I didn't realize these had names to them. This is the Wilkie Two-Tone Red is the first one I tried. And then this one is the Coretta Red Tortoise. Now, ain't nothing red about this. I don't see any red in this. So hopefully they didn't get the labels mixed up. Now these are a little bit different. These are more of a cat eye shape. So they kind of go pointed here. Just thought I'd try them. We're going to see. What y'all think about these? Oh, I feel like a librarian. I'm not used to that. But what y'all think? Can y'all see me in these? Let me know. Let me know. <laughs> me in these glasses. I hate trying on glasses. 
That's why you see me in my contacts most often and not in my glasses that much. Um, because my hair comes down and gets, you know, all on my, ugh, anyway, that's another story. Okay, these are called the Brady Black Matte Eclipse. So, these are the black matte. They have a little bit of um, white and beige outline. So, they're a little different. They look big, too. What y'all think about these? These are more square. I don't know why I keep doing like this. Just trying to get y'all to see. And I'm trying to see in this little viewfinder and I can't see in this viewfinder. And I can look down, but then if I'm looking down, you guys can't see to help me. So, anyway. So, these are the black matte. A little bit of white on the sides. Let me know. Very similar, right? They all look alike. And last but not least is the Welty Violet Magnolia. So, these have a little bit of blue. They look tortoiseshell with a little bit of blue or violet in places. So, it's just like specks of violet. Can you see it? So... Like right there is a speck of violet. Can you see the violet? The specks? I don't know if you can see it or not. But anyway, they're there. And that's these. Again, a little bit more square. What y'all think? For some reason, I usually lean toward brownish or tortoise type frames. I think my regular frames are tortoise because they're very neutral. They can go with a lot of different stuff versus me getting um, an actual solid color like this red one. So I just got this just to see. This Wilkie, the very first one I tried on, is kind of like a burgundy reddish color, which looks nice up against my skin tone, I think. Um, I actually like the size of them, but the thing is, is to me, they're not as, they're not as versatile. So I can't, I don't, I wouldn't feel like I could wear these with a whole lot of stuff. Yes, I could wear it with white and black and um, stuff like that. But if I had a different color red, I feel like it would clash. If I had on like a bright green or something, I think it would clash or look Christmassy. I don't want to look Christmassy. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's the thing with these. But I do like the size. The frames are a, lot, a little bit thinner. Um, I don't know. So anyway, that's that. But real quick, I'm going to go put on the other one so y'all can get a second look at them. And I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to let you see them. This is the second pair, the Rye Tortoise. third pair, the red tortoise, a little bit of a cat eye, fourth pair, black matte, least 
violet magnolia. All right, guys, so those are the five pair. Let me know what your uh, favorites are in the description box below. Help me pick my next pair of glasses. Um, yeah, and we'll go from there. So that's that. I just thought about something. I'm gonna have to get this um, up quick for you guys to even help me because I gotta get those sent back. And the next thing that I got in, I'm not even sure what this is. Oh, wow, that came quickly. Okay, so guys, this is a book that one of my subscribers sent me. Her name is Marla, and she wrote this book. It's called His Dream, Her Nightmare by Marla Morris and she just released it on Amazon. So this is what it looks like. It's in paperback and she sent it to me and I appreciate that. So I'm definitely gonna read this. Um, and tell you my thoughts about it. So this is like true crime fiction. So, um, it's dealing with a, a true crime, but it's peppered with a little bit of fiction just to kind of, you know, change up a little bit. So if you guys like to read and you like crime novels, uh, fiction novels or whatever, and you want to support a black woman who is a fellow, you, uh, a fellow subscriber who has finally released her book, then go on Amazon and um, pick this up. I'll, I'll try to uh, leave a link to this in the description box. But again, I'm gonna read it. That's Marla. And I'm so glad she sent this to me. She knows I like to read. So I'm gonna read it and um, tell you guys about it. But yeah, Christmas is coming up. If you know anybody who likes to read, who has a birthday coming up, a Mother's Day, Father's Day, whatever, it doesn't have to be a woman reading, it could be a man reading it, then this may be a good um, option. So yeah, so she sent me that. So thank you, Marla, I appreciate the book. I can't wait to break into it. I actually might, this weekend is my uh, birthday weekend though. So I don't know if I'll get to it this weekend, but I definitely, uh, we'll try to start on this um, next week. So thank you, Marla, I appreciate the book. So yeah, I'm excited about that. Yeah, guys, that is pretty much it for um, the things that I wanted to show you. If you are looking at my earrings, remember these are earrings I got from Second and C. I did a video on um, these earrings. So yeah, go to, she's a fellow YouTuber. So you can go to secondandc.com and get you a pair. So yeah, love them, love them, love them. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm going to uh, close out the video here because we need to get us a little something to eat before we head to um, my son's game. So I don't know how much, like I said, it's gloomy and everything, so I don't, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to get the game tonight. Uh, there'll be rain on the camera. It'll be gloomy and everything. So I um, won't be able to do that, but I will definitely try to get a little bit of my birthday tomorrow. So just stay tuned.